तो अपना सब्जेक्ट मैटर तो इज योर कप ऑफ टी आई एम श्योर यू विल ऑल डू अपना अपना पढ़ाई एंड यू विल गो देर बट लेट मी टेल यू वॉट इज द अदर काइंड ऑफ नॉलेज the other kind of knowledge that they are looking for is how much is your eyes and ears open to what is happening in the world is duniya mein kya ho raha hai and how is that impacting businesses in the world is what they want to know just to give you just to give you a few examples okay do teen examples main aapko throw kar number 1 today i'm sure if you have your eyes and ears open you know there are two three things which are very very much talked about one is artificial intelligence we are we are everybody is talking ai these days we are talking ai we are talking ml i'm sure all of you know ml machine learning very good very good we are also talking iot internet of things correct correct very good so you know the abbreviations now please go ahead and volunteer please click on your click on the raise hand sign so that i know who's talking hmm? and then tell me what do you, what can you share about these three elements ai ml iot three things is what i had said how are they going to impact and how are they going to change our lives amit first amit shaw go ahead um all these three things will give me one amit let's leave some for others also you can choose any one of them okay uh it will reduce the redundancy redundancy of what um uh, if there is any process which has been uh researched and it has been well established it can be given to the machine so that a human being can th uh, can think i mean for Uh, ahead of it very good very good you you're talking about artificial intelligence right amit okay very good amit that's a, that's very good now amit bring it very specifically to our lives and to professional life and to business can you give me one or two examples of how it is going to impact businesses say in the next half a decade amit um if artificial the artificial intelligence if it is introduced in businesses then processes can be streamlined it can reduce the manpower uh which will help the businesses to cut down the cost on uh, employ employees and uh, it can think of creating new and newer things new needs new demands okay okay so amit what you are the picture you are painting is dangerous that means they'll know why should i do mba there'll be no jobs tomorrow ai will take away all my jobs processes which can be defined ai will do hame nokri kahan milega fir to amit ye to dangerous ho gaya um ai cannot replace human intelligence sir there will always be the need of human intelligence actually the world will go to a direction where only thoughts and real knowledge will serve any kind of uh, i mean ratta gyan or whatever i mean whatever i will say that will be completely removed very passion will fall there very, won't be um, space for just you are you are doing for money it cannot wonderful. be that wonderful very good excellent thought there amit hold on to your thoughts now we'll get go to isik ishika Ishika, Ishika Vishwas. Yes. I Hi. Name uh, right. Yes, yes. It's Ishika Vishwas. Go ahead, Ishika. Yeah. Uh, so ML is basically the uh, ML is basically the data from which we get the uh, idea that uh, we make the statistical analysis of the data, and we get to a certain uh, point that uh, we can get the uh, different uh, like. Uh, like the bigger concept of the data is like what are the data is used for and artificial intelligence is uh, mainly uh, giving a machine or a machine the capacity to think like a human being okay so ah, yeah okay. okay yeah sure all right all right how is going to impact businesses okay for example uh, what we have now like if um, like uh, 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू टेक यूट्यूब इफ यू सर्च अ वीडियो इन यूट्यूब द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वीडियो कम्स अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर प्रेफरेंस सपोज वी आर लुकिंग फॉर अ कार वीडियो द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑल्सो कम्स फॉर अ कार वीडियो सो इन दिस वे द सर्चेज ऑफ द पीपल आर एनालाइज एंड दे आर गिवन अकॉर्डिंगली सो इन दिस केस द profit uh, is ma- uh, made also in case of uh, for example another platform called facebook uh, the if we talk about suppose we have commented about a book we have uh, recently read so the ads ad preferences comes uh, according to the books uh, uh, according to the books we have currently read or the genre of the book so the ad companies will give them the facebook the money uh, uh, because they are uh, creating customers for them also so great example that's a great example of how it is being used in marketing right yes. marketing right both your examples yes. are related to marketing when you are visiting a social media site or you be visiting any website you are you are leaving what is called your digital footprint and your yes. digital footprint is picked up by 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 bots and and based on that the bots are able to send you notifications right yes. that is yes. what is happening Okay. Yes. Now this is this is clearly what you have told me is a marketing. Marketing may today a conventional marketing is no longer happening. This is digital marketing, and people are looking at your digital fin- footprint, and marketing is get affected. Excellent yes. point of view. But bring it to other. Bring it to finance. Let's say. Bring it to HR. For example, can, in HR, uh, yes. one uh, one people is concerned with one customer only. But mm-hmm. if we uh, if we create many bots, certain certain uh, issues are not really that that deep. That certain issues are really very generic. Like for example, we are searching for a product, or we are searching to uh, resolve su- certain. simple issues that many of the people are concerned we can create a bot for, to help that so the uh, effect of, so the working hour or the like um, um, or the uh, capacity of or the work work of the hr is reduced to a certain level okay okay very good thank you uh, those were good thoughts from ishika we have kritika also now kritika go ahead your thoughts and then i move on uh, hello yes, uh, talking about the hr part uh several companies have started doing that also uh, abroad and several mm-hmm. other mncs have also started doing that that is yeah. hiring people using artificial intelligence that is uh, the recruiters don't have to you know devote a lot amount of time sitting with each candidate and then checking out whether the candidate is fit for the company or not so okay. in that case whatever the skills are required for the position or the company and what be it soft skills or other skills are in, uh, given as an input to the bot and the bot checks uh, i mean the answers that are given by the candidates are uh, they the bots pick up words from those answers and then they see whether it matches with the uh, requirements of the company or not and this is how the hr roles are being reduced by artificial intelligence these days Sorry. and Sorry. another use of artificial uh, intelligence is in healthcare nowadays that is uh, the radiologist they don't sit and check the uh, like check the reports and then put uh, write down a report many are cases different cases are registered and from those cases uh, the new reports are made right very nice that, that's a very very good example because uh, kritika thank you very much for bringing that uh, ex, uh, radiology thing because what is happening you are absolutely right your database full with so much of data that the machine based on the image the machine is going to pick up and give the report you really don't need a doctor to sit there and write a report you have, that's that's a great example uh, saurav has also raised his hand saurav your thought is the last before i move on to iot okay saurav go ahead yes sir so i would like to talk about iot itself oh wonderful go ahead yeah sir so basically iot as the name suggests it's internet of things so basically what, uh, what the things the things basically are connected to the internet Right. so that it, it will be uh, it can uh, get our commands so a live example i would say is uh, google home or you know the alexa so we actually give them the commands and they actually switch on the lights or you know the speakers so they they work on our commands so yes. they basically the things and the internet combination wonderful and and to get that going 
what is also happening there is convergence of telecom also now we are going to move from 4g to 5g and what will happen when with 5g coming in whenever 5g is coming of course uh, many experts are telling us what could be ro go wrong with 5g also that's another thing but the moment 5g comes up what will happen your internet bandwidth will expand and when internet bandwidth expands you are not going to talk about uh, 100 mbps or 200 mbps i mean those kind of speeds will be history so internet will move at lightning speed and when data will move at a speed of lightning what will happen is that devices will able to interact with each other so your your each of your devices will interact with each other and, and they will be able for example your car will be will be able to drive by itself right you all have heard about the self driving car i work for personally i work very closely with a german automobile multinational and i know what we are doing there we know that in the next 3 years and i'm telling you it's, it's there in the next 3 years we will see driving cars self driving cars in india forget the world many people are telling me no 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 india mein nahi chalega india mein nahi chalega you know we are in india mein gaai kidhar se aayega bel kidhar se aayega i know i know i have been through this country and i do but i tell you what is going to happen it will still work 20 years ago did any one of us think what will happen what is happening today will happen we didn't today is happening so this will also happen and it's going to have deep deep impact on the way we run our businesses so tomorrow when you're going for an interview your interviewer is going to expect you to know these i have just given you two three areas here ai ml and iot there are hundreds of things do you know there is something called quantum computing we are talking about quantum computing today ibm has already done revolutionary work in that area so i mean think about it when you go and sit there and the interviewer probably asks you and says hey what is the future of business and you bring in dimensions of ai you bring in dimensions of quantum computing and you present a image of what businesses are going to look in the next 5 years think about it will you be hired tell me will you be hired if i were the interviewer i would take you even if you don't have a 100% tie yeah but 100% tie is the cut off boss you can do nothing maine pichle shuru mein hi kaha hamare number dikhte hain ki tumko wo personal tie lana hi padega aur uske baad you have to do all this so remember on the knowledge front he is definitely looking at you that you have all these knowledge now where will you get all this knowledge let me let me uh, tell all of you i am delighted to see the brightness that you youngsters bring to the table these days i am really delighted at the same time i am also dejected on one or two fronts just one or two number 1 i don't think today our youngsters are reading enough when i say reading enough i mean reading books reading magazines journals harvard business publishing hbr review i mean there are so much today available so look at yourself and say how much time am i going to spend on Amazon Prime how much time i'm going to spend on Netflix i'm not saying don't do it please do it you have to have some entertainment have fun in your life i'm not suggesting you shouldn't have fun you must have fun but at the same time there is so much of information available out there are you checking them out i'm telling you check them out check them out check them out there is so much and i tell you if you just log in for one and then the digital footprint that you lay leave behind they will notify you for 100 others and that's how you will start learning look i went to a b school 30 years ago 
30 years ago, what I learned in the B school is no longer relevant in this world today. It's outdated. It's no longer relevant. Today, what you are going to learn is also going to get outdated 10 years later. For me, it took 20 years or 25 years for that knowledge to get outdated. For you, it is going to take 5, 10 years because knowledge is doubling much, much more faster. How will you keep up the pace? You will keep up the pace when you are exposing yourself to different areas of learning. I'm not saying that you only have to read a book. I'm saying go check out hundreds of websites, go check out TED Talks, go check out so much of material which is out there on the web. And no, I, I also know some of you are reading, but you're not reading in a structured manner. For example, create a notebook. Say you have a notebook and that notebook is for all everything that you pick up in the area of finance. Pick up one more notebook where you are going to detail things on the area of technology. Because today everything is driven by technology. You can't, you can't think of a life without technology, all right? And that's why I threw three technology things to you first. Then look at what are, what are new things happening in HR. What is new things happening in market? I mean, look at the gamut. And that is when you will be able to go walk into that interview room with that confidence. And when you stand in front, sit in front of that interviewer and you talk with that confidence, they will say, we don't need to look further. This is the guy we need in our college. So don't forget, the primary requisite is knowledge. And I said, knowledge about your subject matter, whatever your graduation is, you must have knowledge about that. Don't think people sitting there are going to be fools that they don't know about your subject. They will also come prepared doing their homework. They know what questions to ask. Today, just like we do how to face an interview training, I also do how to take an interview training. I do that also. How to take interviews. Corporate honchos come and sit in the training and, and they learn how to take an interview in such a way so that you can get the right guy. You can ask the right questions. So remember, they're going to come with their homework and they will know about your subject and they will ask you. Sometimes they will ask you a few tricky questions here and there, push you a little and check you out how much trust and faith you have on your knowledge. And they will challenge you. They will say, hey, do you really think that is right, Amit? Well, I don't think. And they will talk to themselves and say, hey, but I read it's something like something else. And they will challenge you. They will throw doubt in your mind to check out and see, do you have the confidence or do you have you just Googled somebody, something, and have you come for that interview? Last week, let me give you this last week what happened. I was doing a training program for the company Latent View. They're a Chennai-based company. They do analytics. And they serve some of the best companies in the world. They serve the Googles, the Microsofts, the Apples of the world. And I was talking to one of the program managers. His name is Karthik. And he was telling me, Abhijit, tell me, how I was doing this interview. And he gave me that example. I was doing this interview. There was this bright young girl. And she, he said that this girl had like 97 percentile in her BTEC final 97 bright kid but when i asked her a couple of questions she gave me absolutely googled answers and he said now because i'm doing a virtual interview because nowadays face to face interviews are not happening virtual interview she must have placed her phone or another laptop somewhere where she's seeing seeing it and and i can see that same web page myself so i told her so when I told her, she's trying to bluff me by showing her hands. I'm not Googling anything she says. But he said, I know she's doing it because she's reading exactly the same lines. So you see, your interviewers are also going to be very, very smart. They know which website you're going to look at and prepare. All right. So do your homework well, guys, so that you are able to converse much more confidently. All right. Point taken, everybody. Knowledge, the first thing. 
Okay, I'll move my slide, at least for people who can see it. In any case, the slides are coming to all of you. So this is about uh, knowledge, the basics, the theories, the information, facts and figures, your perceptions. They will ask you, what do you think? Typical question right now could be, in a post-COVID market, because hopefully, hopefully in the next three, four months, we will see uh, the, the, the vaccine is getting uh, distributed across the world and uh, people are getting vaccinated. So people are going to talk about post-COVID situation. Post-COVID, how do you see businesses going? Or how do you think technology will take over? Or what are kind of businesses do you think technology will make a difference on? So all these things which are there are all connected to your general market awareness and that is what they are definitely definitely going to test